so what's good it's your girl Michaela Janae here back to another video and in today's video I'll be showing you guys how I organize my makeup glitter I recently did a art supplies haul and in that haul you saw that I went to Dollar Tree and racked up on some stuff I recently made another trip to Dollar Tree and I got some more stuff another canvas and some hair products but one thing that I got in specific for this video was some more of these crafter square organizer boxes is these boxes that I got last time I think last time I got two of them and this time I got two of them and they were a dollar a piece of course so I'm gonna be showing you guys how I organize my makeup glitter now if you guys did not know I absolutely love makeup peep the face and I use craft glitter for my eye glitter I know that's kind of crazy, but I feel like more people are starting to do it now. The first person I knew that did that was like Aaliyah J, and she didn't go blind, and as long as you don't get it in your eye, you should be fine. It's really a personal preference if you feel like you're bad enough to use craft glitter on your eyes. I say go for it, but I'm going to show you guys how I keep my craft glitter. So usually glitter comes in containers like these where you can just shake it out, but that is not convenient if you're trying to use it for your makeup. So I decided to get some of these little containers to keep all of my colored glitter in. I'm just going to show you guys me putting it in there, how I organize them and all that stuff. I keep my glitter and my lashes in one little container. This is for all you girls who are on a budget. I don't have the super fancy Ikea or you know all those acrylic containers for my makeup. I make do. So if you guys are interested in how I organize my makeup glitter and all that stuff, stay tuned because I'll be showing you guys in this video. All right, you guys, so as you can see, I hope it's not blurry. I already have two things of glitter right here that I did with the last pack. And this is like glitter proof. None of the glitter comes out and it stays nice and sealed. So these did not really have any sense of organization. As you can see, this one is kind of like the brownish colors or whatever. But that is already two sets of glitter. And I found these little things too, but I don't know where you guys can find something like these. I got this out of some type of kit. I don't even know where I got that from but as you can see today we're going to be playing with my neon glitters that I got from somewhere I don't know but they're craft glitters so I'm just going to open up my pack okay now that it's open Okay, so I think this angle might be a little bit better, but like I was saying, don't want to overflow it. So next, I'm going to go purple. So whether you're using this organization for crafting glitter or you're going to use it for your makeup, it really does come in handy and I really do think it's awesome. To say these are dollar store, ooh, dollar store products. Some of these glitters are more filled. Why did I skip one? Why did I do that? 
And I also have these little glitters that I got from Walmart. So this is how we're looking. Look how beautiful. This one is a little messy. But it's because these are so low. These glitters I actually got from Dollar Tree. So if you are a more natural girl and you don't like fantasy colors, definitely go to Dollar Tree and they're going to have a bunch of brown glitters. And that is just so beautiful. Look at that. And then I also got the silver and white pack of glitters. Look at that. Let's get it. Okay, that is so beautiful. All right, you guys, so that is basically the end of this video. I just want to quickly show you guys how I organize my glitter. I know some of you guys are crafters or you are into makeup like me, then you guys want to know how to organize this stuff. I had no idea what I can put it in. I don't like these little containers because I don't want to shake it out or anything like that. So, I wanted to find something that was easy and that could be transported if I need to travel and do makeup or if I'm doing my makeup in a hotel room or something. This is so much easier to transport than trying to carry around loose glitter any other way. So I hope this video was super helpful for you guys. If it was, holla at me in the comments because I always holla back. I feel like at this point I'm like eating glitter sitting down here doing this. So I hope you all enjoyed it. I'm going to see you guys in my next video.